13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Hump Day. I'm Ross Dimate right now with your 13 Action News Update. Federal authorities now say a massive fire near Fort Apache and Tropicana was the result of arson, and they now need your help finding whoever did this. That fire happened over a week ago. I'm sure you remember this video. The apartment complex that caught on fire was under construction at the time. No one was hurt in that fire, but the complex burned down, causing more than $30 million in damage. The ATF is now offering up to a $10,000 reward for those responsible for starting the fire. A new study finds those who visited Las Vegas on and around New Year's Eve may have fueled the spread of coronavirus in the southwest United States. Kinza Health, the maker of smart thermometers, crunched the numbers, and the company found a correlation in spikes of cases in Southern California. It also discovered that people living in the counties most impacted by COVID were twice as likely to have visited Las Vegas on New Year's Eve and in early January. That study says the new COVID variant from the UK is contributing to the faster spread. Multiple people are in custody connect in uh, connection with several armed carjackings. This all came to an end near Buffalo and Flamingo. We're working right now on getting more information from Metro Police. And tonight a little chilly dropping down to lows here into the mid 30s. As for these next seven days, though, we aren't done with the rain just yet. Late Friday pushing into Pushing into the afternoon, we could see a few scattered showers. Highs remain cool, 52. And then Saturday, similar story, but we do dry out. Seeing more sun Sunday, sunny skies, high 54. And then we're up to the mid-50s for Monday and 60s by Tuesday, but it'll be a little breezy. All right, Bree, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.